My friends, it is that time again. Yoga time. Because who wants to mess around on an elliptical? Or become a zealot for Zumba? The way I see it is you are a lot of things. Smart, funny, reliable, but the proud owner of a yucky yoga mat? You are not. Now, I may not be the Yoda of yoga, but I do know a little bit about killing germs and bacteria. Just a little bit. And so today, I'm gonna show you how to clean your yoga mat with confidence. So when it comes to cleaning your yoga mat, I'm gonna give you two levels of clean. I'm gonna give you a level one and a level two cleaning. The level one cleaning is gonna be something you do every time you use the mat. The level two cleaning is gonna be something you do maybe once a month when it gets really gunky and grungy. So without any further ado, let's show this mat who's boss. Let's talk about the level one cleaning. For the level one cleaning, we're gonna use a DIY cleaner of two cups of water, one fourth cup vinegar. You can even add a few drops of your favorite essential oil just to give it some extra added fragrance if you prefer. All you're gonna do is spray one side of the mat down really, really well. Let it sit for about two minutes and kill all the germs and the bacteria. Then you're gonna take your microfiber cloth and wipe it off. After that, all you do, flip the mat over and repeat the same process, do the same thing on the other side. Well, that was easy. Yes, Mr. Fuzzball, it was easy. <laughs> okay, let's move this party to the bathroom and I'm gonna show you how to complete the level two cleaning. So this, my friends, is the level two clean. What you're gonna do is about once a month or whenever your mat gets really, really gunky, bring it to your bathtub, fill your bathtub up with hot, soapy water and just let the mat sit in there for a couple hours and it will get the, the body oils and the grease off the mat. You can even use a, a, a washcloth uh, during the process and kind of wa help wash the mat off if you would like. A lot of people will say, you know, you shouldn't use Dawn dish soap on a, a yoga mat because it's gonna make it slippery. To that, I say poppycock. It's not gonna make it slippery if you rinse it thoroughly. So just rinse it really well when you're finished and you're not gonna have that problem. Now, if you just can't get around the idea of using Dawn dish soap or whatever, you're just completely against it, I'm not using it on my yoga mat, then just use vinegar instead and you should be good to go. A couple things I should mention before we close out the video is don't hang the yoga mat in the sun to dry. Hang it indoors somewhere in a garage or something to dry it after you finish that cleaning. If you hang it in the sun, what's gonna happen is the sun will just dry out the mat and then it'll eventually crumble on you. Another thing I should mention is never ever put the yoga mat in a washing machine because the churning and the spinning can actually potentially tear it, rendering it ineffective and trash. So that's it guys. That's how to clean the yoga mat. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate the view. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel for more great content and click the little bell notification right next to the subscribe button to make sure you're notified every time a new video goes up. This video has been dedicated to all of my yoga tiers out there. My friends, implement the steps that I've outlined in this video and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.